Hey friends, in this video we will learn about the password policy management. What are the password policy that can be uh, configured through the Google Admin Console for your all email accounts or a specific group of email IDs. So this can be achieved through the Google Admin Console and uh, in the security options, in the security options, authentication and you know, vice versa like uh, password management as well. So in the password management you can just see your uh, organizational unit is just uh, showing over there suppose if you have multiple organization unit and you want to apply separate password policy for uh, for those two organizational units so you can just choose the ou and you can apply the password policy for your organization for a specific ou as well but in this uh, example we are just going to apply this password policy for the complete uh, domain so root domain is just showing over here and uh, now on the right side you can see the password policy the strength strength is users are required to use a strong password and if you want to learn about uh, the strong password so just click on the learn more and you will get a uh, link here you can go through and and read uh, read the document which is provided by the google about the password strong password what exactly and what uh, and how you can select your strong password uh, so uh, on the admin panel now see so i'm just going to enable the enforce strong password so if you enforce this strong password so you cannot use the email account email account which is uh, exist on your google admin console or uh, so something you required like a, a, a caps a small and a specific character or uh, like at the rate has kind of things you need to just mention in your password so just go through with this url now the length length is the must be must be between 8 and 100 characters so if you are going to choose a password for your email account so it should be minimum eight characters if you will go uh, like uh, less than eight so it will prompt an uh, error and a red color error like uh, you cannot use uh, less than eight i'm going to select seven now see the minimum eight and maximum hundred characters so password should be between eight and uh, hundred so i'm going to specify ten now maximum password length will be uh, not more than 100 if you will go to increase so it will prompt again the same message so i am going to specify 40 or 15 10 to 15 character this is the length which i am going to specify now strength and length enforcement enforce password policy at next sign in suppose if you have you if you are using um, uh, not a strong password not more than uh, 10 character password for a email account so it will just uh, ask the apply a, a strong password and strong password with, with, within the length which you have specified so I'm going to enforce password policy at next sign in now reuse allow password you reuse suppose if you have used uh, previously previous password on the next uh, uh, expiry so you can make it enable but i always recommend don't enable it because this is uh, also a security reason you cannot reuse the previous password uh, so you can uncheck it and expiry expiry is the way which you can set the password expiration of your email account suppose uh, if you have configured your password like uh, xyz at 123 so uh, the expiry the password will be expire on next 30 days 60 days 90 days 180 days and three, maximum 365 days so i always recommend never select this never expires because ideally every organization uses a specific password expiry days so i am going to select like 90 days and I'm going to make it save this password policy has been saved and uh, now the all email accounts which exist inside the info alias will use this password policy which we have configured 
So similarly, if you want to configure your password policy in your organizational unit, so I always recommend you to, to check it with for a few users for a test organizational unit and then, then gradually increase it for the rest of the, your organization. Thank you for watching this video.